Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Essence, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really do appreciate it and we hope that this video finds you well. Today I'm joined by my good friend Carlos. Hello everyone. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a relaunch from a brand called Six Sense Parfum. We're excited to tell you all about it, so make sure to stay tuned. Before we begin our review of three fragrances by the company Six Sense Parfum, I would like to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content and you have not yet subscribed to our channels, please make sure to do so by clicking on that red button in the corner and of course Carlos's information will be left down below as well. Now as you can tell from the title down below, there is going to be a giveaway attached to this video. The only thing you need to do to enter the giveaway is just leave a comment down below with which one of these three fragrances would you be the most interested to try because the winner is going Going to win an official 2ml sample from the brand of each fragrance in this soft launch or hard launch. I don't know what to call it, right? But we have three fragrances. Yeah, we have three now. fragrances. We should backtrack a bit. Yeah. Six Sense Parfum is a house founded by Joseph Cortana, who you may know from Parfums Cortana Les Potions Fatale collection, mm -hmm. which won an indie a couple of years back at the Fragrance Foundation Awards. Yes. This came out in 2008. And it was around till 2011. In 2010, he received the first American Niche Award from the Fragrance Foundation, which is quite an honor. Yeah, it is. Indeed. And uh, yeah, so they took three from their bestsellers and did a limited release. There'll be others following. And uh, my brother sure has some words. I'm sure I have some words. <laughs> Absolutely. So each one of these three fragrances, they made 250 of each. So you can tell they are all numbered so here i have number one of 250 thank you so much joseph cortana he actually sent us bottles of these three mm -hmm. uh in next month if the timeline holds still uh they're going to release three more and then by 2021 they're going to release another three so the original uh releases they number 27 so they 27. have 27 different fragrances so they pick the nine best sellers and those are the ones that will be released over the course of the next few months so here we have the first three that were re-released it's number 87, Urban Tropicalia, and Ascent. Which one would you like to speak about first since you are the guest of honor? No, this is your channel. Why don't we start with the one closest to you? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> so this one is called Ascent. I guess we're doing it in somewhat alphabetical order. So this one is a really awesome, clean, powdery, musky fragrance. Yes, there is a floral tonality in there. There is that musky component in there. It doesn't smell animalic by any stretch of the imagination. And there are some, like I said, th those clean florals, I think work hand in hand with the clean musks to sort of convey this fresh, sort of freshly laundered clothes, freshly laundered linen, but also this cotton vibe. Mm -hmm. Do you get something similar to that? I get an aldehydic nuance in there somewhere. Okay. Not quite as... Uh powdery is Chanel number no. five or aldehydic. It's kind of a similar smell, powdery aldehydes. It's I could see a correlation between the two, yeah. So I get definitely a, a clean and fresh vibe from a scent and also that aldehydic thing. And it's pretty good for a freshie. It's not your typical one that relies on k or things of that nature, molecules of that nature. So yeah. it's quite interesting. That's definitely something to be said about number 87 as well, because it has some salting nuances in there. So it kind of puts you in the mindset of, oh, okay, is this going to be an oceanic, ozonic, aquatic? Did you plan the salty one you put it closest to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. No, uh, honestly, these are all really wonderful. It is a limited edition release of each one. Like I said, it's numbered out of 250. Mm -hmm. And so if you are looking at it from a collector standpoint, if you want to pick it up with the numbered blotters, you can certainly do so but the next one is urban Trop tropicalia urban tropicalia these are limited release limited size bottles i'm sorry okay. for you. no that's okay and uh this one is one of 250 thank you joseph good looking out Here this is one that i do enjoy a lot it's probably my favorite of the trio yeah although they do, do all have something to offer this this is very lush and very full very tropical sure it's a great summer scent. You've got apple, you've got cassis, and it's just really, really delicious. Um, most tropical fragrances you'll think of like TR flower. It's so hot I can't hold it. TR flower and uh, Manoi oil. 
Mm -hmm. This is perfectly unisex. Perhaps a little bit feminine, but there's some florals up in here, and it's really quite the fragrance. I do enjoy it very much. I like this one a lot, too. As soon as it opens up, you will be reminded of peach rings. And so it kind of <laughs> has like this pseudo sugary quality about it. That kind of reminds me a little bit of being a kid and eating peach rings. But then you also have that apple note in here that really provides that nice burst of fruitiness in the opening. And I think it pairs really well with the apricot. But you also have some of those floral ingredients in the heart that I guess uh, if you're looking at it from a traditional standpoint, it might lean in the direction of like a fruity floral fragrance. But I think it is juicy and ripe in the opening so that could very much serve as a healthy distraction from that type of a classification I really enjoy urban tropicality a lot I do get the uh, the candy rings but it's not it's not cloying in any way right it's, it's not a gourmand it, it's in my really opinion. it's slush but it's smooth and really 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 good <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> I know it's your favorite yeah <laughs> and the last one is number 87 and this one, I actually have number two of 250. So I think my good friend Carlos here has number one. And this is one that definitely goes in this fresh, oceanic, slightly salty territory. And so if you are a fan of those types of fragrances, the ones that are very summer appropriate, I have a feeling you will really enjoy number 87. This has a lot of cypress and hinoki wood. So it has this verdant accent to it, mm -hmm. but I feel like that saltiness is not overdone. Oftentimes we find ourselves smelling fragrances with like seaweed or other marine oceanic accords of that nature. And it could be potentially a little bit too overwhelming. I feel like it strikes the perfect balance in this fragrance in that it's not overly green, it's not overly salty, it's not overly oceanic, but then you also have those woodsy nuances in the base to really ground the fragrance and I really like this one too. I think that they all have a very unique character. They're not smelling like each other right. or for that matter like anything else and maybe this one because there's so many types of this uh, genre out there but I like this one a lot. One more time Carlos. I like this one a lot Joseph Montana. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> They're all really wonderful, and what I really like is the fact that they all smell quite different from one another. They have a very distinct personality in their own right. And this one, of course, is the one that I think is going to have the most mass appeal. I mm -hmm. find a scent to be rather casual in the sense that it smells like freshly laundered clothes, right? If you want to prolong mm -hmm. that feeling of smelling fresh and smelling clean and just smelling well-groomed and well-tailored, a scent will certainly do that for you. Number 87, of course, is more of like an office scent if you're looking for something to wear on a daily basis something that has a level of mass appeal about it something that's not going to overwhelm people and then of course urban tropicalia is the one that's quite interesting with that uh, peach sort of apricot opening but it also has the floral tonalities that make it a really interesting fragrance and I think Joseph Cortana did a fantastic job with all three of these fragrances and I know I speak on behalf of both of us when I say that we are incredibly proud yes. of you we are here to support you every step of the way and we are really hoping to be able to give some lucky person out there the opportunity to try all three of these fragrances by winning a an official 2ml sample pack that does contain all three of these fragrances and once again all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just leave one comment down below and let us know judging by our descriptions of these fragrances which is the one that you think you'd be the most interested to check out so leave a comment down below and the winner's comment will be selected in one week's time it will be pinned to the top of the comment thread so please be sure to come back to this video in one week to see if you've won once again carlos's information will be left down below as well so definitely make sure to check him out any concluding thoughts on this, Carlos? Yes, you felt my brain waves. <laughs> you did. He wants a to. Say, he wants to say something. Yeah. I have to mention. I can't finish this video without mentioning that since he put this uh, collection to rest, he has a new company called Parfums Quartana La Potion Fatale. I did mention that in the beginning, but I didn't mention that that he also got a Fifi Award for one of the fragrances in that collection as well. Yep. So I just uh, want to say congrats on two Fifi award-winning lines and i know that there will be more in the future as well i definitely have that much belief and faith in our good friend joseph cortana so thanks again for watching we love you all we're excited for you to watch this video and hopefully win this giveaway we'll see you in the next episode bye take care everyone